This is momentum when you're dealing with collisions. This is probably going to be one of the most complicated equations you're going to find. Usually with momentum, when something collides, you have a bigger body or smaller body or something of the same mass. It could be either or each way. Each way. In my illustration, you have a bigger body hitting a smaller body. The bigger body was moving at a velocity of 2 meters per second and it collided with a smaller body that was at rest, which wouldn't have any kind of velocity because it was at rest. So this is the before scenario. This is before, like when you're watching a movie, the accident going to happen and this is what was happening. And after what happens, the two of them got stuck together so you would have one mass, a final mass. And that one mass is where you want to determine what the overall velocity was of the two bodies that stuck together. And this is where this very long important equation comes in. You have uh, in the before side, you have the mass 1 times velocity 1, which would be 1 kilogram times 2 meters per second plus the mass 2 times velocity 2 which would be 0 0.5 kilograms times 0 meters per second because it wasn't moving so therefore from the get-go this goes this second part it goes this this down here is just a shorter representation of this right because anything that is 0 will give you 0 and what will be left will be m1 v1 equals to the second part which is the aftermath the aftermath, which is mass 1 plus mass 2, would be 1.5 kilograms because you're adding the two. 1 kilogram plus 0.5 will give you 1.5. And you will look for velocity final. Now, in any case, I'm not going to sit here and solve all of this. I'm going to solve them as entities. And then from there, if we get a question later on, I will show you how to solve for them separately. Now, because this is one that involves addition, anything that multiplies anything, remember brackets first, I will treat them as an entity. So for M1, V1, I will call it A. M2, V2, I will call it B. Because this sentence will give you one number together. And this, I will call it C, V, F, right? sorry v f which means that this is seen as one entity as well now if you wanted to solve for a you would just say a is equal to c v f minus b because you have if you're going to get rid of b on this side you have to minus b from here and b from here right if you wanted b you would say C V F minus A because it's positive. So it would minus it from here and minus it from the next side. And pretty much that's it. I'll teach you the longer version in another section.